What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zer is back. We're on the left side, the speaker side of the tower and Zer is here for the first week after the Taken King, the first official year to week one Zer. So here we go, here's his inventory. It looks a lot different this time around from year one so let's get into it. So first up we have the Legacy Engram, this is the year one weapons or armor I believe they might have. And today's one is Legacy Engram for heavy weapons. So if you want a year one heavy weapon like a Galhorn or any of the other year one heavies, you can use this and gamble on them. And all of it costs strange coins now. Uh, there's no modes of light on any of these, I believe. Everything in Zer's inventory costs strange coins now. So all the Engrams even cost strange coins. So if you want to gamble on this, you can go ahead and do so. Going into the armor pieces for the Titan, we have the insurmountable Skullford helmet, and uh, it's the year two version of it. So let's take a look. It has improved transfusion, which gives you kills with Stormfist immediately trigger health regen. That was like before in year one, but this time it also has respawn with full melee energy and gain a second melee charge. So you got two melees this time around, a little bit better. It also has increased discipline and strength. It has gained bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness and also with heavy weapon kills on minions. And then we also have the gain bonus melee energy on ore pickup. So pretty average helmet. It's still decent um, but not the greatest. But if you need the light I recommend picking up any of these for your respective characters. Um, or you can gamble on one of this for the titans just because this is a helmet and you can probably get something else maybe a better helmet. Um, but or you can get a better helmet for another class too, not just titans, but yeah. For the hunter, we have the young Ahankara spine for year two, the gauntlets, and this one has an increased trip, trip mine and grenade duration and gain an additional trip mine grenade charge. So you get two trip mines now, which is even better than the year one, and also it's longer as well, so that's really good. And then we also have increased discipline and strength like the previous one. We have increased grenade throw distance and gain bonus melee energy on grenade kills. And also faster reload for hand cannons and sniper rifles. So not bad. All these again can be infused uh, to increase its defense value as well. So if you want to boost it up higher to maintain your high light levels like if you're in the 290s right now. Uh, this isn't going to benefit you unless you infuse it. So you can go ahead and do that with some... Of your other legendaries or rare gear and then for the warlock pretty exciting stuff we get a new one right off the bat so year two exotic right here the impossible machines it has strength on it and the perks on this is it gives you the landfall perk on the stormcaller subclass tree so this one is basically that mini fist of havoc perk that you get when you activate your storm trance super it creates that little fist of havoc on the ground under you and then what this does is now you can choose another uh, node in that tree so pretty good I like that perk actually for PvE especially because I can just hover above people and activate my super it does like a mini fist of havoc underneath me and then I can just roam around and uh, shock people with the lightning so it's really good I like that a lot I'm definitely uh, buying this and then we got increased discipline and strength we got increased melee attack speed and we got bonus grenade energy on the melee hits. We also have uh, increased reload speed for pulse rifle and fusion rifle. So that's really good. And then we got the exotic engram and if you buy these they will now yield a year two exotic. So I'm actually going to clear up some space and pick up like a few of them maybe three or so. And then we'll open them after I finish uh, looking at his inventory. We're pretty much almost done though. We still got some uh, curios right here. We got Heavy Ammo Synth, still 3 for 1. And then we also have the new 3 of Coins Consumable, which gives you uh, more chance to gain an exotic engram off of the next Ultra that you defeat. So this is really cool. It's going to be cool to use in many different activities where you're fighting big bosses, Ultras, and uh, you can get some exotic engrams and get some good gear from them too. So that's really good. So I'm going to go take a look at my inventory and we'll open up some engrams. So here we go, I bought three of those helmet engrams and we're going to see what we can get out of these. I'm super excited. I want to get a new Taken King exotic so badly for any of my characters actually. Um, and we'll see what we get. So first one we get a Light Beyond Nemesis Year 2, not bad. I don't have any exotics. The only one I got so far is 
for the ones that he's selling. I bought the uh, gauntlets, uh, so that's the only one I have. So that's good. Another Le'Veon Nemesis that would be good for trials and stuff. For the second one, we get a another Le'Veon. That's that's terrible, dude. That's terrible. And for the third one, we get wow. I got three. That is the worst. That's the worst RNG ever, dude. That's terrible. I got three, dude. I'm so mad about that, dude. I'm so mad. I don't even want to like upload this video now, but I have to. So, I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about buying some more because that just happened. So, I'm gonna cut it, and we're gonna buy some more, and then we're gonna open up some more. All right, so here we go. I bought some more exotic helmet engrams. I bought about three more, and we're gonna test our luck, and hopefully we don't get a Le'Veon Nemesis because that's gonna be embarrassing. So. Let's get into it. Hopefully I get like the stag. That one looks cool or something else. So here we go. For the first one we get a Helm of Immos Light for the Titan. Uh, hopefully I can get a new one. Let's see. For the second one we get Obsidian Mine Year 2. And for the last one we get a second Obsidian Mine. This is terrible. This is the worst opening ever. I'm getting all these Year 1. Uh, at least it's newer versions but I'm getting all these Year 1 helmets. So uh, I don't want to waste all my emotes. I might buy some later. All my strange coins but um... Yeah, so that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy all the exotic engrams. Everyone's going crazy right now, getting all their new exotics from Xur. Uh, this is a really good one, really good week, uh, just because it's the first one, and we can get some new stuff out of the engrams, as well as those Warlock gauntlets that he's selling, so that's really good as well. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Good luck on the raid, and peace.